So you want to speak in tongues? So you want to learn、uh, to speak in tongues? Following my lessons,、uh, you will、uh, increase your quantity of the spirit by one hundred and thirty-four percent. After enough practice, you can master my program and be like the new、uh, Benny Hinn.、Uh, remember, this is tongues one hundred one, not tongues one hundred two hundred one, not definitely not. Two on one incorporate physical actions like dancing. Tongues, by the way, not for Baptists, definitely. Yeah. Tongues three on one incorporates rolling on the floor. Four on one and five on one are for grad students only. It teaches you to cry, pant, moan, and be slain in the spirit with emphasis on mastery of being drunk in the spirit. First, you need to prepare yourselves. Start off. Your prayer in a public setting so that people can hear your prayer on a street corner or church or prayer meeting, just so as long as God and others can hear your prayer. Avoid any private settings or prayer closets. God cannot hear you in damn dear prayer closets. Then select one of the two options. A. Speak assertively. Choosing this option forces Jehovah to listen to you, since you are using authority. And this proves to others your authority. If you select this, speak in a loud, stern voice. B, speak passionately. Choosing this option requires you to speak very emotionally, as if you are losing breath, and makes your pr- public prayer appear humble and holy among bystanders. Remember, you can change to A and B and B to A whilst praying. In fact, a well-seasoned tongue talker will be able to do so with ease. As you pray, do not give anyone the opportunity to interrupt your long-winded prayer. They will distract you from proving your prophethood and apostleship. As you pray, I ask for prayer requests so that that you can do. A well-seasoned tongue talker will be given first priority for prayer requests. It's also available to pray using an accent like a southern drawl. That is best, I do declare. Using this, fa- using the following script, we bring to you Father X. We pray that you heal him. We know that you are the God of healing. Hallelujah! Pray. Thank. You Lord God, Hallelujah! In Jesus' name, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Note: Make sure you do not vainly repeat. Make sure you vainly repeat sections over and over, similar to the rosary, but not quite. God forbid you sound like a papist. Now, continuing using the following scripture with the following scripture script. Remember to follow it as if it were a liturgy, which you, as a Pentecostal, reject completely. <clears throat> Hallelujah, Father! We come against it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father! Heal him in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, come against it in the name of Jesus. Your word says you will not come back void. Quote a scripture that is relevant or not. To healing and substitute it, or substitute it with something that sounds like it could be in the Bible. I rebuke the spirit of. Insert, here, be creative. Think of a demon to blame, the person's affliction on. Touch X from the top, then continue on and say, touch X from the top of his head to the tips of his toes. In the name of Jesus, Father, make sure. Insert here happens. Set them free, Father, in the name of Jesus. Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! Make it go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Remember, if anyone thinks you are crazy, drunk, or high when you're doing it right there, then you are doing it right. After all, some of the apostles. Critics at Pentecost accuse them of being drunk. Some foolish, ignorant heretics think that they were simply slandering the apostles. Nonsense! The apostles absolutely appeared greatly inebriated and, bla- and plastered, since they were. Some fools will point at Peter's words immediately afterwards, denying they were drunk. Do not listen to such doubt. They certainly rode around like animals, slapping people and babbling. At this point, 
quote lots of scriptures so as to demonstrate before God and man your knowledge of the Bible or just pretend you can even if it's not necessarily relevant to the situation doing this will make you wise in the Lord now it is now is when you are preparing to talk tongues if you're experienced you may have already started if you are a novice I recommend this script the key is to make your prayer language sound like it's a real language selecting Hebrew or some Spanish like language is ideal assuming but the bystanders are not knowledgeable in those languages but doing so is ill-advised here is a sample script to follow this you this you can refine and adapt for your own prayer language insert intel insert some unintelligible words then resume with tongues Remember, using the same words while praying in tongues is absolutely fine. In fact, most people will not realize it. And the ones who do, you can simply dismiss as a mocker and blasphemer that denies the power of the Holy Spirit. Accuse them of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Remember, a well-experienced tongue talker can naturally fall between tongues and real words with great ease. Continue with the following words. Give X a double portion. Build a hedge around him, Lord. Restore him, O Lord. Amen. Address a short prayer to Satan, similar to what Catholics do when addressing angels or saints to ask them to intercede, but you can, but they cannot hear you. However, Satan and his demons are more powerful and can hear everything. Devil, get away from him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, you have no authority of him. Every negative spirit, back off of him in the name of Jesus. Get back, Satan, get back. Then address those bystanders with in awe. Bless you, Father, that we may walk in the newness of life. May we talk in the anointing of Jesus. Hallelujah, God, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, praise Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Haba haba tostada shaba intamita imblatada. Then address any doubters around with the following words. O oh Lord, cast out any spirit of doubt, O oh Lord. Free us from any negative spirit that we may live in the newness of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. It is strongly advised you turn the prayer into a long, drawn-out sermon with the occasional reminding God of what he wrote. Otherwise, God may very well forget what he himself had written. You may continue with a mixture of the above. When, when ending your long prayers of vain like repetition laden with the Holy Spirit, you can use the following. We thank you, Lord, for sending the Comforter that we may walk in the newness of life. Believe in God because he believes in you. Tostada, enchilada, shada, haba, haba, haba. For in the Father's house there are many mansions. As Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We, we have come out of the world and to the newness. As it says in Ephesians, we have the arm of the Lord. For we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. We take on the full armor of God to go against the enemies that come yabba dabba doo. Resume with quoting every scripture you possibly know. This is most efficacious. Then cap it off with the following. Remember to pray in the spirit, for in the day of deliverance, listen to his voice. He will guide us. Praise God. Praise God. Did you know that when the Israelites were going through the desert, they could have walked only for 11 days, not 40. Yeah, yes. Hallelujah. Remember to go between praying to God, addressing Satan directly, and addressing your bystanders. Then say, We thank you, Lord, Father. Barakada Shema, blah, 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 haba, Shema, mama, blah, blah, blah. Father God, we glorify you, O Lord, O, o finisher of our faith. Let us, let these illnesses drop off, Father, that we may be set free. Supply Billy Bob with 
a new job prepare a way for him we thank you father we praise you father hallelujah father praise god praise god praise god we thank you in the name of jesus amen amen hallelujah amen praise god tostada chulupada baba tostada shabadaba we know folks when you ask anything in the name of Jesus, he will give it to you. Ha blah 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 blah. We praise your Lord, we praise you. Now go in between doing something else and praying, going back and forth between the two. Do not give anyone a chance for interpretation of tongues that you spoke in, unless they are pre approved by you personally in advance because you feel the Holy Spirit can in advance uh, select the proper interpreters and remember never allow more than one person to interpret tongues since they may conflict casting doubt on your holiness and prophethood for these reasons it's best to omit interpretation completely after you finish praying give a little testimony about how the first time you spoke in tongues you were drunk, drunk and high on weed hallelujah 